What's that? So welcome. So this is a quick tutorial for the Tincho Mayarasana, lifting both sides of the body all at once. Definitely this will require you to learn the technique first using one leg at a time without kicking. Yeah, so you need to learn this um, aspect of the practice first that you should be able to confidently lift one side up without you uh, kicking the position. Yeah, so um, this should feel light already. Yeah, you're holding this nice and steady. The breath is flowing. All right, and from there, learn how to release the asana by moving both hips all together at once, and you're able to descend lightly down the ground. If that becomes light already, then you are ready to lift both uh, side of the body all at once. All right. um, this is quite challenging, will require really lots and tons of flexibility in the shoulders, but most of all, um, this should require a specific breath pattern. All right. So I've uh, talked about how to send the buoyancy up here. All right. Now, to be able to lift the pinch of my rasana, both sides all at once, you need to send the buoyancy up here, really higher up the throat lock. Yeah, and you're gonna engage now uh, the restricting of the backs of the throat. I've talked about this before, lifting the buoyancy to either side of the jaw, yeah, and also all the way to the upper palate. Not really the upper palate, but uh, the chinchiba, now I'm behind the teeth, the bottom teeth, and the backs of the tongue pulls back. And that way, you create the buoyancy and lift the buoyancy up here. Yeah, so you really lift yeah, the energy really high above the rest of your body, yeah, even higher than the neck. Yeah, and that way, you keep the shoulders open, there's no pressure in the shoulders as you lift your legs all at once. All right, so but um, the other structure remains the same. Yeah, let's try that. All right, really up to you. Yeah. Your elbows might be a bit wider than the shoulders, it really doesn't matter as long as you feel open the neck, the shoulders can breathe. All right, structure, inhale. Push away, yeah, send the buoyancy here, yeah, near the side of the backs of the jaw. Good. Exhale. Now, inhale, push and move the neck forward a bit. And you're lifting your feet up. All right, keep the buoyancy of the throat all the way to the backs of the jaw. Yes. So you want your breath really higher than the shoulders. You want the breath to really lift your structure all the way up. Well, and then while you're holding it, you don't want your breath to be dropping lower than the neck area. I mean the sensation. Because the moment your breath drops to the shoulder, you will lose it. The shoulders will feel heavy. All right, sending the breath really high all the way to the back pockets of the hips like you're being pulled apart. All right, to release. All right, inhale is to release. Inhaling, scooping, and all the way down to a light landing and exhale. Yes, all right, so in a nutshell, breathing in, and you're gonna feel the energetic, energetic lift right here, and there's a hook coming from the, the, the backs of the tongue all the way to the tip of your spine that connects to the base of the skull. And that will be your lift to support both sides of the body. So you're lifting both legs all at once. Yeah, yeah. Um, another preparatory might be if you're not ready with your feet together, yeah, you might try lifting the hips all at once with your feet a little bit wider, such as this. Yeah, I will try. Like this. Uh, so you're gonna approach it with your feet a little bit wider. All right, same. Let me just reset, roll the shoulders around. All right, send the breath here really high. But you don't bounce the neck forward. It's more of a hook. Yeah, like a clip here. Yeah. You're gonna be using now your more subtle bandas. All right. Coming through. Make sure you're able to see. Yeah, all right, wider. Now breathing in, forward, forward. See the feet wide. Inhale. 
Excellent. All right. Preparing. Make more room for the shoulders to move. Breathing in. All right. Inhale. Then the hips rise. And then just adjust the feet together. All right. Push away. But when you push away, you know, lift the breath really high up the backs of the jaw. And also the buoyancy rises up to the hips. Yeah. See a nice long vertical angle. All right, come back down. You might keep the feet together or you come down the same as the entry. And landing down. All right, now, uh, yes, try. It might be you're already at the stage that you can feel yeah, the, the buoyancy rise higher up the neck. Yes, maximize your gains. Our energy keeps rising. It's a never-ending process of creating more space, lightness, support. Yeah, use it, not just in asanas, but yeah, in many levels and ways, even meditation later on. All right, till the next video, have a lovely day. Namaste.